So as of yesterday, January 13th, 2025, DJI has now dropped their geo service, which is basically geofencing of restricted areas, no-fly zones, things like that around airports, government facilities, things like that, that would keep you from taking off in these areas or at least provide you with a stern warning like near jails and things like that. And they're giving that power over to the FAA data, which means you as the pilot are now more responsible for doing the right thing and obviously more to blame if you do the wrong thing. Now, is this a good idea or a bad idea? Honestly, for a DJI standpoint, it's good because they're constantly being accused of, um, you know, hacking into our systems and surveilling, you know, all, all the bad things that, that are, the U.S. is trying to prove to get them banned. However, it's also a bad thing because there's been a lot of things in the news lately, like the drone pilot that flew into the Super Scooper firefly, firefighting plane in the Los Angeles fires, and the nonstop uh, New Jersey drones, drones, whatever. Um, so drones don't have good publicity right now, and so it's not exactly the best timing to say, you know what, we're gonna take yet another safeguard away and it's more on the drone pilots because they're making such great decisions. So I don't love the timing of it. I do like holding people who do bad things with drones more accountable. Uh, I think they should have the book thrown at them if they knowingly do it and should receive pretty harsh fines or even revoke or take away their drones if they don't know any better because they're obviously not ready for it. But like I've said in other videos, thousands of people just got new drones for Christmas. They don't know the rules. So I think the DJI software restrictions were a good reminder that, hey, you can't just fly with reckless abandon wherever you want, that you kind of need to think about this. And so I think that was a good tool. FAA doesn't have the manpower or the resources to enforce this like they need to. So... I don't know, it's 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 good and bad. Obviously, for us drone pilots, less restrictions are good, but it's also bad because now more people are going to do things they're not supposed to do, which will then re re result in more restrictions for us later whenever they cause a problem. So, I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. I can see it both ways. This is big news, this is more. First DJI said they weren't keeping flight logs anymore and they're uh, database. Now they're backing away from this. Are they pulling out of the U.S. market slowly but surely? Probably not because they have done similar things in Europe where they've left it up to the local aviation authority uh, and their data for no-fly zones and restricted airspace, things like that. So maybe they're just making it more clear across the board. Who knows? Only time will tell. But again, for experienced drone pilots, this is not really that big of a deal, but for those people who might be new to the hobby and need that prompting, like, hey, you can't fly here, this is one less obstacle to stop them from doing the bad thing. It's like if you're about to turn the wrong way down an entrance ramp to the highway, and they have those big signs that say, do not enter, because you should know that you're going to be going the wrong down, way down the highway. But they still have those signs to one more step to idiot proof it. And now I feel like this is DJI's version of we're taking away those signs. You should know better. You should know. And if you don't, then the local police department, it's their job to take care of it. So, oh boy, what an interesting world we're living in in the drone world. So, comment below. Subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Let me know what you think. Let's get a, dis a discussion going. I'm really excited to hear what other people think of this because now you know what I think of it. Anyways, till next time. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.